Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Video Research. Today the 28th of October and um, today I decided to return uh, to Aussie analysis. Uh, we have here the double repo pattern. Uh, for those of you uh, who do not remember the context of this possible trade, I suggest you to review our research from 26th of October. I prepared it on Tuesday. Well, in recent times many of you guys asking me about the double repo pattern how uh, we should trade it, how estimate the targets and the mechanics, market mechanics of the double repo. So I decided uh, to prepare a bit educational research uh, where I can explain you how to uh, make a deal with the double repo pattern. So let's start from the daily chart of uh, Australian dollar. First of all, double repo uh, demands for the uh, excellent thrust to the upside or the, to the downside. We will uh, look at the upside double repo so this is the double repo cell well we have this one how uh, and let's discuss a bit a bit mechanics of the double repo when the market uh, going and going to the upside without any solid retracement to the downside bulls who hold the position on the market absolutely happy because they uh, have not to worry about their positions market do not show any meaningful retracement to the downside they just using the trailing stops or tight stops after the shallow retracement for example market shows some retracement continue up to the downside the tight stops below the previous lows and absolutely happy when the market reaches the first top of the double ripper and show and shows the shell retracement to the downside nothing changes for the bulls they absolutely happy again because this is this thing that's just the retracement to the downside and we will see the continuation of the up move that's why i prefer to see the shallow penetration of the 3 by 3 moving average that uses for uh, um, determination of the thrust well during the thrust market should not close below the 3 by 3 and uh, theoretically we need at least 9 bars but uh, better is it will be above the 10 bars of thrusting move without close below the 3 by 3 here we have one okay this was the penetration but we have no close below the 3 by 3 moving average and both think uh, well it's just a shell retracement we will continue move to the upside well, that's why I prefer to see the shallow penetration, the shallow retracement. Uh, the profits should stay on the table. Uh, too deep retracement, like in this case, uh, leads to the fixing of the profits, uh, to taking off some profits by the participants who uh, hold the position during the thrust to the upside. Okay, when the market will continue to move to the upside, and I prefer to see the new highs because this new highs establishing on new highs involves more traders, breakout traders to the uh, continuation of the move. They think, oh, I see the breakout of the previous highs, we will continue to move to the upside. When market show the new highs and then return back, they, they will be the first, breakout traders will be the first who will be trapped in their positions. When when they hide their steps, right, just below the first penetration, the first uh, low of the 3 by th uh, thrust uh, low of the that market uh, has established below the 3 by 3. Also, here will be the stops of the trailing stops of the bulls that has hold these positions during this whole thrust to the upside. When the market show the second penetration and uh, break the previous lows, it means that uh, stops start to trigger by the market and accelerates more to the downside. This is the nature and mechanics of the double repo, how it works on the market. Also the important moment that I prefer to see small time of uh, consolidation between the two tops. Why? Because too much consolidation destroyed the greedy greed and fear. Bulls who hold the positions during the thrust 
uh, have the time to think about this position and maybe gradually close the positions. But the uh, double repo is emotional pattern because it works fast and uh, leads participants to uh, show their most emotions. Fear of the breakout traders and the uh, bulls that uh, worries about their profits and starts to uh, fast close their profits, accelerates move to the downside. Usually the good double repo, the perfect double repo has shallow penetration during the first move. New highs after the first penetration of 3 by 3 moving average and very shallow time for a consolidation between two tops. This is the perfect double repo. What we have here? Excellent thrust, perfect thrust. Too deep move below the 3x3 three three. because I think that during this penetration some profit has been taken out by the participants. No new highs, so breakout traders is out of the market. So this is not perfect the double repo. Time of consolidation is okay. It's not much days between the two tops. But it still it doesn't mean that it will not work. Uh, it will work possibly and even it, it can work perfectly. But I, I sh just show you what uh, you can mm, see on the market. The example of the perfect double repo and the example of the Aussie double repo right, right here. So uh, our confirmation bar is right here. So how, how, how general this signal uh, generates. We see excellent thrust close below the 3x3, three three, close above we have this one and close below. This is the bar of confirmation. If you are a day trader, positional trader, you can enter on the market just uh, when you see the closing below the 3x3. Three three. If you are intraday trader, you can wait some retracement back from this whole thrust to enter on the retracement and possess yourself for the possible move to the downside. How establish the target of the double repo? Well, the initial target of the double repo is this. Look at this pattern between the tabs. A, B, C top, 618, 100% expansion, and 618, 1618 expansion. Usually, uh, double repo, if it's really double repo, should reach 100% expansion at minimum. Because this is the directional pattern. It never it retraced after 618 target. If it retraced after it, it means that something is wrong. Because this is... Uh, this pattern based on the trigger of the stops and fast closing of the, of the positions that of bulls who holds this position during this thrust. Usually it happens very fast. And I think that if this really double repo, it should reach this level of support, 3.8 to Fibonacci support from this low to this high. And this is agreement with the 1618 target from this A, B, C top. Okay? Now let's look at the 4 hour chart to estimate the place where we should place the stop order or how we can enter in the double repo pattern based on the intraday chart. This is the 4 hour chart, this is the first top, this is the second top. Okay. Now let's look at this last thrust to the downside. Market shown the nice retracement to this 4 hour confluence resistance area. This is 6-1, it resists from this thrust bar to this low. and free it to resistance from this high of the first mm, top of the double repo to this low. Yes, here we have the new lows compared to this one. That's me it means that this the major re major reaction point, this is the focus focus number. So this is a solid resistance area. If you are intraday trader you can enter on the retracement to this confluence resistance for our trend is bearish. And uh, according to Jordan Napoli uh, method of placing the stop order, we should place the stop just above the 618 resistance from the highest point of the thrust, it's right here, to the uh, point of the second penetration, right here. So this is the place of stop orders. When the market will accelerate to the downside, this level will be will adjust to the lower because the lower will market will establish the new low. So the 618 retracement from this highs to the new lows will drift to the downside and you can uh, use the trailing step just mm, above the 618 resistance from this move okay uh, here we can see another way of establishing the new the target of the double repo it's going to be a b c tab 100% expression which is op just around 9402 it's around 
here. So this is also can be used for establishing the uh, double report RG. So this is in general how the double report works, how it looks, how it confirmed, how we can place these tabs. I hope that your questions and an answer on your questions concerning the double repo. Well, good luck to you. And this is very powerful, indeed powerful signal. I, I hope that you can uh, see it not once on the market.